different kind of feeling. You know, you're like, you look down and you're like, uh-oh. Welcome back to Derek's Destinations. Day two, uh, Washington, D.C. It's kind of a cloudy day. And uh, we decided to try and do some things that involve inside stuff because it's probably going to rain. It's nice and cool, it's crisp out here, you know? So it really makes it nice being outside. Um, we came to the National Air and Space Museum in the Virginia part. It, you know, it's about 40 minutes outside of DC, but because of COVID, not everything is open uh, so far as museums. And this is one of them that is open. There's a limited selection of the ones that are. And I just wanted to show you around. I'm, I'm walking into the entrance of the museum and uh, we'll see if there's anything exciting in here. I'm sure there is. I think the shuttle's in there somewhere. Uh, we'll take a look at that. Uh, parking is 10 bucks, you know, and the museum is free. So let's just get an idea for what's going on here. Uh, follow me and let's go. The assistance you need or can help you as you. To your left is the observation overlook to the aviation hangar, which runs north to south. It's three football fields in length. Okay. The north end, which is marked closed on your map, is because we're doing work repair work on the hangar. And we're protecting those artifacts. All the rest of the artifacts. I hope you enjoyed the quick visit there inside the uh, air museum. It's a tourist thing, you know, told you a little bit about it. I'm gonna head to the metro and see if we can't go downtown. We've made it to the first metro station, Vienna. You can see the metro behind me. We have to, we parked in a parking lot and we have to take a bus to the metro which is between that freeway there which you see is very busy uh last time i was here which has been 15 years ago or so the metro system here was very clean and uh easy to use well getting ready to find out because i'm sure where we're at now was not here 15 years ago i'm gonna head up on up here and see if we can find out some information about all this well, we've come to the Vienna station, which is on the Virginia side to go into DC. And uh, it's, it's a bus station and it's the uh, Metro, you know, for the uh, subway going into town. And like everything, we're tourists, you know, we have to figure out what the bus rides are and, you know, and, uh, and what to do and how to do. And you ask for a little bit of help, uh, but overall it was very simple. It wasn't too big of a problem. Um, it, if you're not aware there are such things as day passes several day passes and um you know weekly passes uh they're much more cost effective than just paying your fare to go to each place you want to go um today it costed us cost me 13 dollars for an unlimited pass but it will end at 11 30. However, if you start early in the morning, you ride all day long wherever you want to go, and then your, your pass will be no good at 1130. Uh, multiple day passes, no big deal, you know. It's just remember that the, the pass will end at 730, I'm sorry, 1130 that night. If it's your last day, if you get a three day, then on the third day at 1130 that night, it's no longer any good. But of course, normally then they're shutting down. Uh, unless it's the weekend and they do ride later on the weekends but uh but i'll give you that little bit of tidbit before we actually go down and get on the actual subway well we've been riding for a little while a little noisy there so i didn't talk too much to you but we're here now and we're at the smithsonian exit I'm going to probably go upstairs and see how it is. It's beginning to sprinkle when we left, but I don't know about now. Uh, kind of quiet in here, but we're actually going the wrong way. You know, lots of uh, lots of nothing. 
and there's nobody here so now i'm going to remove this yep we're the only ones in here pretty clean and simple uh, head on up here Doesn't give me a view. This is the Smithsonian stop. They don't stay very long, or well, the one that we were on didn't anyway. Anytime that uh, you know, we made a stop. There's an escalator going up. DC does have the longest escalator in the Western Hemisphere. This is not one of them. But I wouldn't mind going to it. I don't know if I can get to it today. I will show you or not. I'm going to turn this around so you can see going up. Daylight, no rain. I was expecting some rain. Not bad. Now this is supposed to come up right in the middle of everything, you know. Um, it's my understanding. I'm getting ready to find out. Okay, I'm back just off the subway at 12th Street uh, and Independence. And, and you know, the National Mall is just barely one block away and that's where I'm going. Uh, but I wanted to stop here and show you this little thing they've got going on here. corn in the US economy look at that I don't know if any of you ever seen it that's a big old cotton plant it's huge too I mean it's huge growing in the garden they're doing rice waterfowl habitat there's some corn more corn soybeans soybean it's like a proverbial farm right here on the corner <laughs> which which is appropriate because this building behind me that's actually the uh agriculture department you know for the united states so it's kind of you know fitting that it's here it's just pretty cool to walk up onto all of a sudden and see it you know they they made it a little nice around here with all the trimmings and everything and there's some tomato plants not one tomato on them i'm sure they've been picked by well, there is a green tomato. You see the one green tomato. I'm surprised it has that one green tomato. They've got different little examples and stuff out here. It's pretty cool, actually. Uh, Swiss chard, if anyone's ever seen Swiss chard. I've grown that a few times. Yep, yeah. yeah, not bad. You know, to be walking in the city and just come across it. now. You know, if you ever visit DC, who knows what they'll have out here, if anything. You know, but right now it's 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 pretty cool. I uh, I'm enjoying this little bit of country right here in the city. <laughs> All right, well we're gonna step across to the mall here. <laughs> we're gonna see. I'm gonna walk on across here. There's the Smithsonian Castle. Maybe I'll show that to you here in a minute, you know. There's not a lot going home, but bus fare there. Now, right here behind me is the National Mall. It's pretty cool. You can take that all the way from Capitol to the Washington Lincoln Memorial, you know. And if you can see that building. Oop, I went a little bit past it. Right back there, that's the uh, Smithsonian Castle. None of this is open right now. 
because of uh, the Rona. Ma Sharona. Oh well. <laughs> Did any of you get that? Ma Sharona. Told you I'm corny. I'm goofy. I can't help it. Yeah. I think I got it from my daddy, but I think my mama slipped a little bit in on the side because <laughs> she's a little kooky too, like me. Wish she was here. Well, I'm gonna see if I can get across the road here. And once I do, I don't know. First of all, you see a glimpse of the uh, Washington Memorial back there? It's hard to tell if I'm getting it in this shot, but that's it. You know, that's like I said, this is the National Mall here. I'm gonna see if I can get across the road and then I'll bring you back in with me, all right? Well, I made it across the road to the National Mall. Uh, it's eerily quiet. And it might be because of the, the pandemic, you know, there's just not many people here. Um, Cause I've been here other times and you know, it's wall to wall tourists, just like me. And being right out here on the National yeah, Mall. Let's, uh, coordinate that. Come around. There's a, another access right there to the subway and you see I'm sure there's a way to get to it, but because I'm not from here, I didn't know how to, you know, under the ground and not have to cross all these streets. There's probably a way once I got off the sub from where I was coming from, uh, there was a way to cross over under without having to hit all the streets, but I don't know, you know, but, and here's the national, the national mall, the greenway, the whole way, you know? just um it's kind of nice to see you know dc feels like a little more like a city yeah i mean i live down near orlando and yeah it's you know it's a nice enough city but and their metro is literally just a, a, a train it only goes i think it's north and south that's it i mean they're not large enough to support anything yet like that but I think as you see here, you see the Washington Monument down there. You know, because this is the National Mall. It's really overcast. It's getting chilly too. I've walked down the National Mall a little ways. And down here at the Washington Monument end. And uh, I think you see the monument. Not sure if you can see that plane taking off there, but yeah. You know, you notice all the flags are at half mass. Well, that's because uh, Supreme Court Judge uh, Ruth Ginsburg died recently, so they've got them all at half mass. And uh, just for importance, especially if you ever end up this way and you got kids <laughs> right in front of it, is the public restrooms. I needed them, and I was just there. I used it. Whew, I couldn't wait to get there. But anyway. Um, we're at this end and I'm gonna walk back the other way and see if we can't get to a couple of other spots here in DC before uh before like the subway stops going which I think is somewhere around 11 30. I'll be back at you. Okay well this isn't really a destination that you go to but I was kind of bored and I had plenty of time on my hands so I took the red line. I don't know if you can see the map here but uh the red line right here all the way up to Wheaton Station um, it has the Western Hemisphere's longest escalator uh, if you don't have anything else to do and you just want to kill some time take the red line <laughs> and go to the Wheaton Station and that's where the escalator is it's like 230 foot long or something and I just wanted to do it you know so I'm gonna go here now and we're, let's let's see what the deal is. I'm gonna turn it around and let you see as we go up. But <laughs> it's just kind of different and I guess interesting to me anyway. What do you think? 
This will take a little while to get to the top. I don't know if I got enough to talk about <laughs> until we get to the top. Yeah. I just wanted to do it. So, you know, and when you hear it, it really gives you a different kind of feeling. You know, you're like, you look down and you're like, uh oh. And, and, and yeah, of course, I'm going to show you on the way down too. Uh, but you know how it is like on a ladder, they always say, look up, don't look down. Well, I guess that applies here too because going up, yeah, it looks steep, but you don't worry about it. But if you look down, I don't know. Wow. And it's loud, very loud going up the tunnel, you know. Uh, Wear some earplugs, very loud. And it's it's also about nine o'clock at night too, so that there's not hardly anybody here. And it's the like the last stop before the end of the subway, next to the last stop, I think before the end of the subway. So and if you're doing 230 foot worth of escalator, it don't seem like much, but when you look at this thing, you're like, wow. You know, going from down there up to the top. They really dug deep to put this uh subway down in the ground didn't it makes me wonder what's on top because they'd have to go so deep you know i might have to check that out and i'll report back to you if i find out if it's anything interesting but i'm almost to the top it's looking better now i know on this screen it don't look like i'm that close to the top but i am Saying. Thought somebody was behind me. Talk about a scary feeling. Wow. That's speakers. I don't know how anybody could hear. Well, we're at the top. I'm still on the escalator, but it's straight. Alright. And it looks like any other subway station you know um, looks like it's at a parking garage I don't know I'll get back with you in a minute well I'm having to do this by flashlight okay but it's the end of the day and just wanted to uh, bring you out here we had done the escalator thing you know well now we're doing the White House thing in the middle of the night and it's beginning to rain. Rain pretty hard too, well. I come to see Mr. Trump, but he wouldn't let me in. Well, nobody answered the door. Actually, I couldn't get to the door. The whole park and everything in front of it is blocked off. Can't get in there. I don't know. Must be scared. I don't blame them these days and times with what's going on. Well. I think this will be the end of the video tonight. You know, I hope you enjoyed what little bits of stuff I showed you and what little bit of stupidity I showed you. But that's what it's all about. I want to have a little bit of fun. I want to enjoy doing this. So, I would like to say a capital good night to you. And we will see you soon. Bye.